today, on this day, March 21st, as we remember the brutality that we visited upon our people by the then apartheid government, we also want to assert that it is Human Rights Day, the day on which we assert the rights of each and every citizen, so that what led to that massacre must never ever happen again. There's no way the history of Sabville will ever be expunged from the map or the history of this world, of this country. It will never be. That history cannot be wrapped off. But on the other hand, human rights are universal. When the people of Shabul were going to fight uh, against passes, they were doing so for the whole country, not for themselves only. So the human rights that we enjoy because of the sacrifices of the people of Shabville must be enjoyed by all South Africans. And so we cannot localize the struggle for freedom. It's like the Soweto uprisings in 1976. We can't celebrate them only here in Soweto. We go all over the country. Human rights in this country were not only abused in Soweto. If you take a bird's eye view of our history, you will see that human rights were abused from the moment that white settlers arrived. Uh, I referred in my speech that, for instance, in 1822 at Bell lots of large numbers of our people were massacred. Um, during the 50s, 1953, early 50s in fact, in Condoleez, uh, the government tried to dispossess our people of their land and cattle and all that, and there was a resistance there, and lots of our people were killed. That was abuse of rights. When we say we celebrate national human rights, we are saying this. We are happy that all the people of South Africa, in all parts of the country, now have rights. Because as long as we did not have rights, whether you were in Skokuni land, in Vembe, whether you were in Northern Cape, or when you, did, when you didn't have rights, your rights were abused. And today, therefore, what we do is we go to some of the places to remind ourselves at those areas where this thing has happened. Last year we were traveling. This year we are here. Why did we come here? Mm -hmm. To remind ourselves that here, the leaders of our people met here in 55 and said, we don't want this abuse of human rights. Mm -hmm. And I instead of this abuse of human rights, we want to build a South Africa where everybody will have equal rights. And then to, to remind ourselves of that, to talk to those people. And then when the whole thing is done, we are inspired to go and work hard for those human rights that were promised to our people in future. So this is this this place here does not exclude Shabville. Shabville is in part of it.